happy Friday, third graders. So for our reading lesson today, Miss Kelly and I have been talking a lot about this book because um, this is the first time I've ever read it. And I've been talking to her about what I think is going to happen because one of my tips for solving mystery books is making sure that you talk with a co-detective. Um, in real life, police officers really do work with other detectives to try to solve the case together. Um, when you work with someone, you're able to say what kinds of things you notice and you see what kinds of clues you have found. And then that person, they might have caught something that you missed. So talking with someone else really can help you solve a mystery in a better way. So I was talking with Miss Kelly and I was talking to her about all these characters. So, right, when we think about making some of these realistic um, predictions, like Mr. Paskey from the Book Nook, he doesn't really seem to have a motive. Um, Maureen, the taxi driver, she saw him, saw Wallace Wallace, but again, no motive there. Mr. Linkletter saw him at the hotel, saw him check in. And then Livy, she did clean the hotel rooms, but she never saw him. Um, so all these people have con had contact with him, but again, don't really seem to have a sort of a motive. If we can trust them, so far it seems as though we can. We don't have any clues that shows us that we can't trust them. Um, Mavis, now this is what Miss Kelly and I were talking about. Like looking back at some of the um, characters and suspects that we have and thinking a little bit deeper about them. So for me, one of the people that are kind of suspicious is Mavis. We only really know that she's an author and that she also got a letter from Wallace Wallace. It's interesting to me how she kind of joined the kids. And so I'm kind of wondering about why she really joined to help them. Um, and it's making me wonder if that's really what she does is just an author. Because um, you're spending a lot of time with them if she was just interested in that part. Um, my other person that's um, a little bit... I don't know if I can trust Wallace Wallace. Like, I am wondering what's going on with him. He, it seems as though there would be, a, if he's not contacting anyone, like, could he be sick? Is that a reason he didn't show up? Well, I feel like if he was sick, he would probably contact people and let them know why he didn't show up at the book nook. So that's something I've really been wondering about. Wallace Wallace is starting to seem more and more suspicious to me because I don't really see what could have happened and what may, may actually makes sense based on the clues that we have so far. Um, so when I think about predicting what's going to happen next, well, after the hotel, we know that Wallace Wallace in the morning was supposed to have come to the book nook and he never did. So what I'm wondering is in my, when I'm making predictions about what the kids are going to do next is I'm wondering if, I also want to keep in mind a couple things that have popped up. Wallace Wallace mentioned that anyone can be a suspect. So does that mean he too can be a suspect in this mystery? Um, another thing that he mentioned in his books and that was in this last chapter is how um, you have to, if you know the victim better, then you might, that might help you solve the crime. And Wallace Wallace, as a victim, we've really only known like that he donates money to animals, that he likes to grow things and lives in a castle. So we don't know a ton about him other than those things and that he's a mystery author. So keep an eye on Wallace Wallace because he's making me feel a little bit uneasy. And then Mavis is the other person that I want to know more about because I don't know a ton about her yet either. Um, so continue to read your mysteries and either talk to someone in your family or make sure when you're writing on your um, daily response about your book club, say what kinds of things you really think or what seems confusing to you. What seems a little unclear? Who, which characters are you unsure about? Because um, then your teacher can talk back to you about it. And we do look forward to soon being able to do book clubs on video chat. So I hope you guys are enjoying your mystery books and really thinking about all of the characters you've met and whether they're suspects and what their motives might be based on the clues in your book. Keep working hard and letting us know what you think. Um, we hope you have a happy Friday and weekend and we will see you again next Tuesday. Love you. Take care. Bye.